right, this one's a very, very exciting one. A new announcement that hasn't really officially been announced yet. Guerlain's launching a collection of fragrances called Le Extrait Signature. So this is something that's been floating around on, on the internet, but I'm also communicating with my sales associates and it's definitely happening. So there's either five or six fragrances coming out. I'm not getting all kinds of details, but I've got a price, potentially a size, and five of the five or potentially five of the six fragrances that are launching from the Le Extraits signature collection of fragrances from Guerlain. In this video, I'm also going to do a ranked list of my favorite Guerlain Le Art et la Matier collection fragrances. So all of this is coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. We're talking about the new Le Extrait Signature Collection from Guerlain. It hasn't been officially announced yet, but according to my sales associates, dropping mid-September. And it's, you know, almost mid-August here, so a month or so away. So these are going to drop very, very soon. I'm communicating with USA sales associates, so if they're landing here mid-September, then these are going to launch probably around the same time when they launch in France, or maybe they're going to launch a little earlier in France and then they're going to debut here. So according to my sales associate, I wasn't able to get a size, but according to the image I've seen, they look like 100 ml bottles. But the price I did get, $600. These are extra de parfum concentration fragrances from Guerlain. So we've got 200 ml bottles of Le Art et Le Matier collection fragrances like this that retails for $570. So those are 200 ml for 570 eau de parfum concentration. So the extracts are going to be 100 ml for $600. Very, very pricey, but some of you that are Guerlain obsessed might want to look into these fragrances. So the five different fragrances that I've seen on the image are Tonka Coumarin Extrait 75. So they already have a fragrance called Tonka Imperial. So is uh, the Le Extrait Signature edition of uh, the Tonka Coumarin Extrait 75 going to be somewhat of a flanker of Tonka Imperial or is it going to be its own original smell? And what do the numbers stand for? Is that 75 trials? And that's how many tries or mods they created and then they went with number 75? I don't know. But I'm really, really into Gourmand Tonka fragrances. This one sounds really, really, really delicious. So I'm, I'm anxious for this. Hopefully by the time I'm in Europe, I can get my hands on these fragrances and sample them while I'm there. Because I'll be in... Uh, I'll be in uh, uh, all over Europe, uh, just uh, like the earlier part of September and uh, excited to try these Guerlain fragrances. So the next one that I've seen on the image is Iris Palida Extrait 6. So there's already a fragrance from Guerlain's La Art et La Matier collection called Iris Toreffi. I've got my original collection bottle here. They are now changed into the previous bottle you saw. I'm having a hard time focusing this. Anyway, there we go. So Iris Toreffi uses Iris Palida in the notes. So does Iris Palida Extrait 6 smell like Iris Toreffi? Again, I don't know the details on these fragrances. Just very excited about these fragrances. But I feel like they're taking some of the more popular Guerlain notes Iris, Tonka, of course, there's going to be a vanilla, maybe even rose and the jasmine. They're, they're making these extract versions of fragrances. For sure, I think these fragrances are going to have the DNA of Guerlain, but they're going to be highly concentrated. So again, the Iris one, I'm really looking forward to it as well. I like what Guerlain does with Iris. They've done a lot of, they've used a lot of Iris in fragrances. So that one's definitely one I'm looking forward to. So the next one, the third one in the image is called Vanille Planifolia Extrait 21. 
So obviously everybody knows that Guerlain has one of the best smelling vanilla fragrances called Spiritus Double Vanille. This one right here. So Angelique Noir is also a vanillic fragrance with Angelica Seeds. This one right here. So vanilla, I feel like, is a traditional note of Guerlain's. They use quite a bit of it. And it makes sense that they're going to make an extract version of a vanilla uh, you know, vanilla fragrance. So this is one that I'm really, really excited about because as you know, Guerlain, I mean, uh, vanilla is one of my top two favorite notes. Obsessed with the smell of vanilla. Really, really love vanilla. It's just a very intoxicating, soothing, relaxing, calming, and very, very delicious note. So this is probably my number one most excited uh, fragrance in the collection of the of the extract signature uh, line of fragrances. So the next one is Rose Centifolia. It's actually Rose Centifolia Extract 1. So was that the only trial they did? Again, I don't know what the numbers stand for. I'm curious. Uh, but uh, Rose Centifolia Extract 1. And I know Guerlain does quite a bit of rose. I don't have any of their rose fragrances, but there's Rose Cherie. Rose Barbar. Rose Barbar was originally created by Francis Kirkjan. So uh, it's a given that they're going to create an extract version of uh, a rose uh, fragrance, which sounds exciting. I'm not as excited about the rose because I don't turn to Guerlain for rose. I turn to Guerlain for vanillic, tonka, iris, powdery, delicious notes like that. But sure, they do rose well as well. And probably I'll definitely get my nose on this Rose Centifolia x straight 1. And the last fragrance that I've seen in the image, again, I see that there's a sixth bottle in the image, but I don't see that they've revealed the sixth bottle. It could be a reflection or something, but I'm only seeing five. But the fifth one is Jasmine Grandiflorum x straight 30. So... Jasmine focused fragrance. They have a jasmine focused fragrance in the Le Art at Lamatier collection fragrances called Jasmine Bonheur, which I do not have. I believe it just launched earlier th this year or maybe last year. Uh, and so I think they do use quite a bit of jasmine in fragrances as well. So maybe they did some kind of a, you know research to figure out these are the ones that. Uh, we would like to do. Uh, it makes sense that they would go with these three of the more kind of uh, sweeter kind of notes, uh, the tonka, the vanilla, and of course the uh, kind of powdery, uh, lightly vegetal note of iris, and then the rose for sure, and then the jasmine. The jasmine is my least excited, uh, you know, extract here. I don't know why I'm not that into jasmine. Really do enjoy rose compared to jasmine, but uh, it's the first three that I'm really, really excited about with the vanilla planifolia extract or extract 21 being the, the one I'm most excited about, followed by the Tonka Coumarin extract 75 and then followed by the Iris Polyda extract 6. Have you guys heard anything about the, these fragrances, these new extract signature fragrances from Guerlain? If you've gotten your nose on these fragrances, please do let us know what you think about them, put a comment down below so we can find out. And again, according to my sales associates, they're completely at different locations. So they're not, they don't know each other and they're different stores as well. But according to them, they're going to be $600. I just couldn't get them to let me know what size they are. But when I look at the bottles, they do look like 100 ml bottles. And it makes sense. Uh, extra de parfum fragrances uh, for hundred dollars for six hundred dollars is what is really making sense. They wouldn't be smaller for sure, and they well maybe they are maybe they're fifty mLs. I, I think fifty mLs would be really expensive for. I mean already a hundred mL for six hundred dollars is pretty expensive, but it'll be even freaking worse if it was fifty mLs for six hundred dollars. But the two hundred mL, like I said, Art at La Matier collection fragrances are. 570 so i think this makes sense that these bottles are going to be a hundred uh, 100 ml for six six hundred dollars very very expensive of the only times i buy these fragrances when because the department stores don't have um discounts sometimes they do do discounts but uh, these don't go to the discounters is what i was trying to say and i make sure that uh, the department stores do some kind of a promotion and that's when i take advantage of these fragrances because they're really expensive 
really, really pricey, but still very, very excited about the first three fragrances. And let me know which ones you're excited about. Do let me know if you're a fan of Guerlain as a house. Do you like them? Have they fallen? I mean, do they still offer a great catalog of fragrances or are they just, you know, not doing a great job as uh, once they did? Uh, do let me know. Put a comment down below so I can find out. And now let's move on to ranking my collection of uh, L'Art et La Matier collection fragrances. So L'Art et La Matier collection fragrances got a redo last year. They used to be in bottles like this. Now they're in bottles like this. They're also doing customization on these bottles, which is kind of cool. And also one of my bottles in a, is in a bottle like this, which was or is one of the worst sprayers I have ever had in any fragrances. That thing does not spray well at all. And it was a complete mistake when Guerlain did those bottles. Hate those bottles. Hate them with a passion. But I'm glad that the bottles are now uniform. They're not in these kind of bottles. I think these bottles, the new bottles, do look, look better. They're uniform and the juice colors are all different. So it makes kind of uh, more inviting to me. The other bottles seem flat and boring. A bit, you know, one-dimensional. These are kind of exciting. And the fact that you can get these amazing looking... Uh, you know, uh, spray, not the sprayers, but the caps and you can do the, the ribbons and things like that. So it makes it a little more interesting and, uh, you know, kind of interactive when you go in to buy your, uh, you know, bottle of fragrance. So I'm going to start off with uh, the first fragrance, but I should let you know the prices. 200 ml, as I was saying, is 570. 100 ml are 380. And they probably have like 15, maybe... Uh, 15 fragrances in the La Art La Matier collection. They also have a less expensive collection that only comes in 100 ml. And recently I had taken a client over to Neiman Marcus and she ended up buying two of the fragrances in that collection. They were like the musky ones, the kind of powdery uh, fragrances, and she really fell in love with them. But I don't have any of those myself. They were pretty nice smelling. I'm going to let you know about one fragrance I'm curious about after, at the end of the video, after the outro. But the first fragrance I'm talking about at number eight, I only have eight fragrances in this collection, Santal Pau Rosa. So even though I've worn quite a bit of this one, uh, I kind of got bored of this one. So I'm putting it here at the bottom. It does have lots of sandalwood and a bit of nuttiness as well. And of course, rose because it's called Santal Pau Rosa. Rose sandalwood hazelnut with cardamom, oud, fig, and myrrh. You know, it's okay. I, I bought it because I wanted to have it and I like the sound of it. But when I compare it to the other fragrances that I have here, the other ones are more Guerlain-esque to me compared to this one. This one to me is a bit more Middle Eastern-esque with the sandalwood reminding me a little bit also of Santal 33. But there's so much going on in here with the rose and the nuts and the spices and the oud that uh, the Santal 33 reminder kind of disappears. But it's there. If you really focus on it, and you hate Santal 33, you will probably be very sensitively smelling it in here. So Santal Pau Rosa is the first fragrance. Let me know if you're a fan of that one. Uh, do put a comment down below so I can find out. So the next one is Iris Toreffi, this one right here. So I still have my original bottle here. Come on, focus. There we go. Think focus. So I still have my original bottle. When this came out, it came out during the height of the pandemic. And when I first got it, it was a blind buy ordered it from the Guerlain Boutique in Las Vegas because I couldn't find it anywhere else. This to me reminds me a little bit of the Dior Homme uh, DNA with a little more amped up Dior Homme Intense kind of a DNA, but more Dior Homme and Dior Homme Intense at the same time. It's not as beefy and thick like Dior Homme Intense or especially Dior Homme Parfum is, but to me, it does remind me of it. If you're looking for something that does smell like the Dior Homme line with a more concentrated smell, Definitely try this one, but this one also has coffee. So it's Iris Palida, coffee, ambrette seeds, violet, vanilla, and opapanine, which is a balsamic note that's used here as well. Ambrette seeds are in Dior Homme Intense. Iris is also. Coffee is not. Vanilla, I think it is, but the, the fragrance itself is super delicious and uh, very much a beautiful makeup y, lipsticky kind of um, Iris fragrance. But the fact that maybe you've got, you're a woman and you're wearing your lipstick and you're sipping on some coffee because then you're getting the kind of, uh, you know, powdery, lipsticky kind of a smell along with coffee because there's definitely a very prominent uh, coffee note in this. So Iris Toreffi is at number seven. 
So then we've got one fragrance that launched last year. They've been launching quite a bit in this collection. They launched three fragrances at once. Uh, Oud Nude, uh, Cherry Oud, or is that what it was called? Oud Cherry, something like that, which I did not like. And then Oud Cole. Uh, so my favorite turned out to be Oud Nude, although I did like Oud Kol or Kol Oud. Uh, but right now I'm talking about Oud Nude. Oud Nude is a, another vanillic fragrance with the idea of Oud with it as well. It has Assam Oud, Sandalwood, Vanilla, Incense, Olibanum, there's Atlas Cedar, there's Almonds, Cumin, Musk, Raspberry. For me, out of all the fragrances here, this one does wear very complex. It feels like there's depth here in comparison to the other Guerlain fragrances that I have, except for the Santal Pau Rosa. These are the two of the newest ones I have in my collection from this series, and they feel like they're a bit more complex than the previous fragrances that were in the original bottles, and they moved them over. I don't know why that is, but they feel complex. There's depth there and a bit more intensity. Uh, really great fragrance here, great longevity, and I like the combination of the oud spices incense -y touches, uh, woods, and then of course uh, the vanillic touches in here as well. It's really, really delicious. So at number six, it's Oud Nude. And then uh, this is a fairly new fragrance for me, uh, but I really, really like it. And I bought it just before we found out that they were changing bottles. Once again, I ordered this from the Las Vegas uh, boutique, or maybe it was uh, one of the other stores uh, like Neiman's or something, uh, Saks. But this is Queer Beluga, this one right here. Queer Beluga is uh, one that I knew about but never really bought, but it really has a great smell. It features a very prominent note of Everlasting Flower, which is the Immortel note. And then there's also Tangerine here with Suede, Amber, Vanilla, Heliotrope. It's sweet, vanillic, also a bit almondy, and also very buttery Suede. Very buttery, but it also has some like kind of caramelized touches here and grassy effect with that immortel note super super delicious i also feel like there's a little bit of mimosa flower but i think that's coming from the heliotrope heliotrope is a purple flower mimosa is a yellow flower they both kind of have an almondy touch and i feel like i it sometimes it, it you know confuses me and i mistake mimosa for heliotrope and vice versa but this is really definitely heliotrope it does have a little bit of an almondy touch but it is really really super delicious very buttery suede leather here on the sweet side so it's queer beluga if i can get that focus there we go and at number four probably the most popular in this series it's spiritus double vanille so this originally had launched outside of the art at le Matier collection of fragrances and it's stuck around for a while to me, it's one of the best smelling vanilla fragrances. Uber boozy, smells like cooking vanilla. I've cooked with it. It reminds me of it. Sometimes when I cook with that vanilla, I want to dab it on my body a little bit because there's a great smell there. This is more perfumey compared to that, whereas that is a food. But still, they do remind me of one another. But this is vanilla with cedar wood. There's rum and benzoin, jasmine and ylang ylang. So it has floral touches under there super delicious but up top it's the woods the benzoin resin which is kind of resinous and sweet vanillic but not as much as the sweetness of the vanilla and then of course the rum it really does smell like cooking vanilla and that's what i like about this one very 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 authentic smell so this is spiritus double vanille from the house of guerlain that is at number four you know, it was a toss-up between this one and the last one. I went with this one. This one seems a bit more complex to me uh, because it's Tonka Beans. This is Tonka Imperial at number three. And Tonka Imperial is a Tonka bean-focused fragrance. Sure, out there it might remind you a little bit of Feb Delicious. Now that that's discontinued, sad, sad, sad. This is a bit more... The other one's much more powdery, Feb Delicious. This is more syrupy. You can really experience the texture of the syrupiness of the Tonka Imperial in comparison to Feb Delicious. I really liked Feb Delicious because it was a lot stronger and that sprayer for Dior fragrances really had a great reaching spray and I like that about it. The powderiness, the kind of nutty bitterness and all the gourmand touches. Here for me, it's more ambery and syrupy and also a bit ethereal it seems light it seems a bit thinner but smells really really delicious really really delicious 
I should say it's it it doesn't have complex layers of nodes. It's a bit thicker than Spiritus Double of a Knee, but there is this kind of airy, ethereal quality about it. But it's Tonka beans, almonds, rosemary, and amber. Really great fragrance. This is Tonka Imperial, uh, one of the best from Guerlain. And as I was saying earlier, they have the Tonka extract they're doing. They have the vanilla extract they're doing. So makes kind of sense that they're going with some of the most popular uh, notes to create these extracts. Then we're going to one of my earlier, earlier bottles of uh, Guerlain Art at La Matia collection. Before the stupid pump spray, they used to have uh, bottles that you can decant or like open up. Uh, they don't have that anymore. And they switched to this and they switched it back. To, uh, it was a big mistake. But this is how I have Boise de Armony. Though, so this is inspired by the Armenian paper, the, the incense paper that is very popular in Europe. They have it in France and Italy, and it's basically this paper that you burn, and this is kind of inspired by that paper. And this smells really, really delicious. It's a benzoin bomb. If you like benzoin fragrances, you've got to get your nose on this. It's Gayak wood with benzoin. There's Kopahu balm, musk patchouli, incense, and vanilla. Super, super delicious. This, I believe, is created by Anique Minardo. Uh, she did a great job on this one. Really love, love this one. And it just has a, a great meaning for me as well because of um, the naming of this fragrance. Plus, how great it smells. Really great. I do need to get a new bottle because I can't stand this. It doesn't spray much anymore. But uh, Boada Armony is so good, guys. If you love benzoin, if you love vanilla, you've got to get your nose on that. And then finally, finally at number one, it's Angelique Noir. What a great fragrance this is. Oh man, so, so good. The contrast of the bitterness of the angelica seeds and the angelica root with the vanilla is a match made in heaven. It's major contrast, that bitterness contrasted with the sweetness, heavenly smell, really, really heavenly smell. So it's vanilla, angelica root, angelica seed, pink pepper, cedar, pears. Wow, this is so good, guys. One of the best from Guerlain, one of the best smells ever. Really, really intoxicatingly delicious. And I can't get enough of the way this smells. I like that whole green bitter contrast with the warm, sweet, syrupy vanilla, heavenly. This is Angelique Noir from the House of Guerlain. That is at number one. So that's pretty much it for you today. Again, I'm very excited about the Extracts Collection. Are you guys ex excited about the Extracts Collection? And also, what are your thoughts on these La Art et La Matier Collection fragrances? What's missing? What else is out there that you guys are fans of that I should look into? I know there's probably 15 to 20 fragrances in the La Art et La Matier Collection. There's a lot out there. I don't have everything. But there's a couple that I've been eyeing and I'd like to check them out. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. So the fragrance that I really want to pick up from Guerlain's Le Art et La Matier collection before the extracts come out is Ouellette Purper. I think that's how you say it, Ouellette. It is the fragrance that used to be called Louis that was in this kind of black bottle with this very Art Deco, you know, text on it. And that that was discontinued and the fragrance itself was moved into the Le Art et La Matier collection. So I... I don't know if it smells identical, if they've done any changes to the smell, but it is featuring carnations and cloves. I've been talking a lot about some fragrance notes reminding me of one from the other. For example, black pepper and incense and, by, you know, uh, green bell peppers and rose. In this case, we also have carnation and uh, cloves. These two notes remind me of one another and it's a given that they would use it in this fragrance. Although... I love the smell of carnation and cloves. I feel like these notes are kind of classic and not very modern. So this might not appeal to everyone, this particular fragrance, but I like the sound of it and I want to get my nose on it. So it's benzoin, carnation, cloves, pear, smoke, vanilla, woods, leather, musk. Again, formerly known as Louis. Has anybody compared Louis with Ouellette Purper? 
Does it smell the same? Is it a new fragrance? I'm very interested in checking this one out. I somehow missed it on my travels, but also I don't remember when this came out. But as I was looking around, now I want to get my nose on it, perhaps get it. But let me know your thoughts on Ouellette Purple. Please put a comment down below so I can find out and stay tuned for another video tomorrow, guys. Thanks so much. All right, I have some more updates on the launch of the extracts from Guerlain. After my sales associate sent me the information, where I thought it was a 100 ml bottle and they quoted $600 for these extracts and also launching next month in September. Now there's more information that they have uh, sent to me after they told me what information they had. So the fragrances are not going to be 600, they're gonna be $630 and they're not gonna be 100 ml, they're going to be 50 milliliters. So really outrageously priced extracts from Guerlain and lastly, they're not launching until November 1st. So initially he said that they were launching next month in September and they said that it was $600. Didn't really let me know what the size was. I guess maybe they didn't know. But when you look at the photo, which I can't really reveal because I, I'm i not supposed to. This is information I'm just giving you guys because it has leaked and it's not officially announced. So I'm not revealing the sales associates' names and anything, but this is exactly what it is. Launching on 11.1, 50 milliliter bottles, $630 extracts. And my favorites would be, once again, the Tonka Bean, the Iris, and the Vanilla. The Rose and the Jasmine, uh, Rose more than the Jasmine, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to smell those. Definitely really interested in smelling them to see. Sometimes I from the surface or from the images or the ideas certain things sound better but then again when i smell the fragrances in person the ones i didn't think i was going to like i like more so it'll depend on it but as of now the ones that really sound great to me are the tonka iris and vanilla but one more thing to announce there is something new launching next month in the art at la Matier collection it's called tobacco honey are you guys familiar with this one? This one is in the regular line. It's not an extract, part of the Le Art at La Matier collection. This is a tobacco fragrance, a top five note. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Tobacco and honey are kind of like, you know, notes that really work wonderfully together. So I'm curious about this one and can't wait to get my nose on it. It's launching sooner than the extracts and also priced at the same price range of the Le Art at La Matier collection fragrances because it's part of that collection. But if any of you have gotten your nose on Tobacco Honey, do let me know. Put a comment down below and also let me know what your thoughts are on the fact that the extracts are so pricey. 50 milliliters for 630. They make they, they better make these fragrances like some very, very superior fragrances uh, because Guerlain does a good job, but they're kind of slipping lately. But still, want to really get my nose on these things and see what they're all about. But either way, just some additional information I just found out and didn't want to, you know, launch the video without notifying you guys about uh, the updated information for these extracts from Guerlain coming very soon.